Hi, hello fellas, it's the last bit, you might have to see my misery again. Um, the buckles, what we want... Oh, it's gone droopy. Is that. They're not correct really, because really it should be one of these, and then on the other end, the hook and loop, which hooks and loops in, and then they tighten. But, oh, <laughs> if it looks about right. Um, so it's that, and I think it gives the right effect. Oh, the white bit underneath, I need to retouch that, is just still this fabric, but painted white. Um, the straps is still this fabric. Um, here's one I did earlier. Oh, where's he gone? It is, I was just messing about with it. I'll have to do another one. But it's two millimeters cut off of this. Um, you always drop stuff when you're just about to start a video. No, nope, I'll do it in a minute for you. I'll do a live one. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you how you do it. These things here, <laughs> need too easy to pick them up. These are dolls shoe buckles. You can get them on eBay. I'll put the link in the description. Um, now what you have to do get yourself a pair of pliers because you don't want to chop your fingers off and you cut them in half. So, where that is there, that's going to be the outer wall of the buckle. This bit isn't needed. It also comes with a little um, tick, a little knob. As you can see that on the buckle. If you can see that, there's a little knob. Oh, come on, focus. Cut that side off, you don't need it. It's just more filing otherwise. So let me just quickly show you. And you get yourself, I mean you can do it, I mean if you've got an electric Dremel drill, um, you can probably cut it off with the disc or whatever, but I just use a pair of these things, snips. Or, I don't know what they're called. Um, I've also had for years. So, you just see where it is. You can get as close as you can, it saves cleaning up. Voila! Uh, that we can go in the bin. And then you're left with... This. It will have some flashing from where you've cut it off on the edge. If you've cut it quite close, you shouldn't have too much. So then you just get your Swiss file without flicking it across the room. And then you file those edges off. It's my next door neighbour mowing the lawn again. He's always mowing the lawn. I think since lockdown he's been a bit bored with a window cleaner. I don't blame him. I don't know how he feels. And then, you are left with, as you can see this, please don't flick out the tweezers, this, which is the out, which is the outside of the buckle. So it is, that. Now to reinstate the middle of the buckle, you, I've done one earlier, you have to do that with plastic card. Now this is a one millimeter by two millimeter. I've cut it two millimeters. It's a little bit smaller than that, but it's easier to cut it a little bit big and then file it down to get a nice tight fit inside there. All right, so let me just nip this one off. There we go. Oh, would you believe it? I have to do that again. Right. And then what you do is you super glue it. I didn't need that to dry long enough. You super glue it in the middle of the buckle. So let's file it down a bit. That fits. It's 
probably a little bit too small. I'd like it a little tighter than that. And try and get it as close to the middle as you possibly can because you want enough room when you put the, um, the, the cloth through. I think that's close enough. Um, you can just make these uh, as simple uh, applicators. You can buy them with brass pins and stuff, or you can use bits of wire, but you can use like spur that you've turned into like an aerial. Um, And you can make them as long as you want. Almost a bit much. Now I promise this works, but as I say again, I'm sort of rushing it, not massively, I know you shouldn't do that, but I don't need to stick it to my table, um, just to make sure that you guys get the video that you wanted, and you don't have to keep seeing me turning up with god awful boring videos on how to make thermal sleeves. Well, here's one I made earlier, it didn't work, which is a bit annoying. There we go. So, like that. Do you see? Now, oh, come on, focus. I don't mean the Dutch pod rock band. So it's that. Then you slice that off. <laughs> Hopefully it's stuck this time. Let's go over there. Maybe we should do it there. That might be better. Here's my chop me finger off. There we go. So you've got that. So the middle of the buckle has been reinstated. You see? Then you have to tidy it up. Um, using a sharp knife. Which I thought I had a sharp knife, but it didn't um, do the job last time, so let's have a look. If this falls out in the middle again, I may cry. Because I promise this does work. That's how I made all of them last time. I think I didn't get enough glue on the other one. So then. Do, 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 do. Sorry, my trumpet pupils is doing his grade 8 online. And I've got tickle tickle in my head. Oh, there we go. So, then hopefully, you end up with. Whoops. A little buckle. You would paint these before you put the um, the cloth through, and also I would paint the cloth the colour you want to have the strap straps, because um, for two reasons: um, one, it makes the fabric even stronger again, it's like laminating, I suppose, um, and also to paint this on would be a nightmare. Um, and like say, for most of the fabric stuff, I've just been using I I, I airbrushed paint on for the straps and also for that bit because um, it's just easier uh, and, and less messy um, but with the gun barrel I haven't I, I use a paintbrush because it also helps keeps the hair down so we've got that now they're a bit thick 
bit like the bloke doing the demonstration. Now hopefully there's enough glue on this and it's dry. Um, if you get another file and you start thinning them down a bit, that's all. And also you can contour them a bit around the edges because if you look at them, like I say, they're kind of a curved strap, strap tops. And by doing this, it just makes it all a bit smaller again and a bit more in scale. I'm not sure if they're completely in scale, but uh, I know this is a bit OTT, but if you can do it and you want to do it, you can. You don't have to if you don't want to. There we go, so that's a bit thinner. Hold it your pair of pliers so it doesn't go flying across the room. And then just round off the corners. Not too much because you don't want to uh, you don't want to go through because that would be highly annoying. See what I'm doing? That's my daughter coming up and comes in. I'll apologise profusely. Oh, here she comes. Eleanor, could you go away a minute? I'm just filming. I'll be two minutes. Thanks, monkey. So as you see, it's rounding off. It's not quite so square. If I ever have to do this again, I promise I'll buy a proper camera. Over to the other side. And then if you want to, you can even thin the sides down a bit to make it even more in scale. I know this is a bit much, but if you want to do it, you can be bothered, you can. And I'll show you what you end up with from the buckle. So I had a candle to do that spur. Can you see that? There we go. Stuff like that. So then you get another little buckle. Um, and that... There's what they are. Come on, focus. That's better. You see? Now... So basically it is, I'll just put them in line on the thing, I've got my hand, so it starts as that, that, so it ends up like that, so that's the big buckle, that's the buckle with it chopped in half, and then that's it with its filing down, and the, the middle bit of a buckle reinstated, I have no idea what it's called, but that's what it is. Now, when you put the, um, oh, oh no, there we go. So here's the cloth inside the buckle. It's a spare one. It's a spare one. Um, so here's the cloth. Now that I would, this would be painted before I do this, but I haven't done it. Let's have a look. I think that's less frayed. Let's try this. Now it's two millimeters. That won't work with it. <laughs> now make sure when you do this, you have as sharp as you can knife. 
Um, this, with this pre-painted, it won't fray as much as this. It'll be thicker again, and it'll be a much more um, solid uh, concoction. Do you see the frayed edges? Um, that wouldn't normally happen if it's been painted and everything. These tend to go away. Um, so then what you do, now you can do an old model boat trick. If you're having trouble threading it, getting it through the gap, you get a little bit of super glue and you can do this with, if you ever make model chips, rigging cord. If you put a little dot of super glue on the end of it, it will just stiffen it up so you can push it through the hole without it getting stuck. Up without it bending over on itself. <laughs> Probably sat now, it won't work. So then you get this. And if that still doesn't work, you can do this. If you cut the end like that, and then it will easily, he says, keeping his breath through there. Get yourself your friendly tweezers. You see? Any tweezers, if I can see it, and then pull it through. Now, she's all very, um, there's bits of cloth everywhere, and it shouldn't be this manky. So it's like that. Oh, like that. So then, what you do is, um, you can chop the, this, the, the actual strapping, the join, if you do it when you put it on, if you put the join, so it's behind the top of the strap. So if that makes sense, when you put it on the barrel, where you super glued the strap together, it's not seen. It's not seen. And like I say, this is not the neatest because I'm, I just want to show you how to do it. There we go. That's really not very neat. It should look like it should look like that. So a lot neater. Just take your time. Um, if you spent all this time making these, don't spoil it with putting the strap on stupidly, like I did just then. All right, let me just uh, tidy this strip this up a bit because it's it's a cloth coming out of everywhere. There we go, that's all right. So it goes like that. And then, it just works like any other buckle. Yeah. So you would bring it through the back. Yeah, which one up here? Yeah, that's right, so it goes. That's right, right, okay. Now you can do the same thing again with this end to get it through because it's a bit tough getting it back through where the you reinstate it. So it goes through making sure that your join is on the back side. So it goes through here. And this bit goes through. Oh, it's a tight fit. Let me put some super glue on there so I can push it a bit harder. Doesn't help with the cloth like guys a little bit.
<laughs> but if I start swearing in a minute, I do apologise. This is the fiddliest thing to do. Oh, wifey, please don't let Harry come up. Thank you. Do you see? So you put it through. Come here, you naughty little thing. So you put it back through the top loop so the bottom loop is still free because then you get this and you feed it back through again. So, let's get the barrels. Now like I say, this will be easy because it'll be on your chieftain. Um, otherwise it's, uh, hang it over here a bit, so you can see. Oh, I painted the, the, the thermal sleeve up. It's deck tan I use, and then yeah, where was it? Come on. This thing never bloody focuses. That one, deck tan. All right. Um, I think that's probably the closest. And then you put the green filter on it and it sort of works. If you paint the same colour as the tank, it somehow doesn't look right. I can't put my finger on it. Because I think what they do is they then, they spray over it. On the tank, oh. I think I've done something, oh no. Now, if, the, if you leave it big enough, you can put it on to the barrel in its loop. What we'll do is, now, it seems to be where the join is, upside down, where the join is, that yeah, that's upside down, isn't it? So the join, where it overlaps, the overlap part, so this bit, the top overlap is where it seems the buckle attaches. To. This is why it's taken me quite a while to get this sorted. So when you put it on, it has to go so the buckle, where it buckles back down again, is kind of where the join is. And then you feed it back down through the hole that you've got free. Like that. And like I say, you would uh, paint the buckles and the clamps first before you do all this. And also paint your cloth before you do all that, because it stops a lot of the fraying. Okay, I didn't have any fraying on my uh, barrel when I did it. If you want to know about the bolts on top of here, let me know and I'll show you what I did. Basically, it's Ming bolts. They come in a sheet like this. <laughs> you drill through the ones that you want. So you drill through and then you pair them off and then you put them down there. And it looks like a bolt. I don't know, you can probably find something else to make it look like that. But So yeah, so that's the buckles. There's the clamps. That's the foam underneath and the cloth on top. And that's basically it, fellas. Sorry about the interruption. I hope you didn't see my son running naked or else I won't be able to put this on. I have to do it all again. Um, and I can't because I've run out of stuff. So good luck with this. Um, I'll leave you all alone now. If you want to know about how to do that, then maybe let me know in the comments or something. But if not, I'll leave it alone. Thanks a lot. Bye.